It's almost time for a haircut. Wow. Hey, quickly, I wanted to share some really cool information with you. And uh, what I wanted to share with you was the fact that uh, the individual Chris, his name's Chris, and uh, his brother John. Chris is uh, the one who's donated some of the parts for the cells and the anode cathode, some of the plastic and uh, the ferrofluid stuff. He's been really helping out. So he uh, had the opportunity to swing by here on his way from Florida. And uh, so I want you to uh, give a big shout out to him. And uh, I'll show you something about what his brother's done as well. I want you to give a big shout out to him. So the comments in this video are all dedicated to those two fellas and anyone else has pitched in. So give your thoughts and your thank yous. So real quickly I wanted to show you this right here Chris brought from and I know this felt terribly horrible Gulf of Mexico Florida 5412 Treasure Island. You like how I spelled that? Yeah that was just chicken scratch. This is seawater. You can see there's actually still sand that he got from the ocean. So we will be um, filling up a couple of cells and testing them with seawater and, and all the other different types of water. So thanks to Chris to bringing this back to the middle of the country. I have no real way to get in that so awesome. And the other thing I'd like to show you is I sent out a couple of sets of bobbins to Chris's brother which was um, uh, offered to donate some of his time and he has a, a, a nice setup for a coil winder and um, a counter and all that stuff so I sent him a couple sets some of these sets are going out with the cells so that again we all have standard sets um, the other one is uh, Josh's Josh has dedicated a bunch a bunch a bunch of time um, res resourcing the cores and where we could get the cores at so he sent me a set of bobbins he got uh, from Fire Pinto I believe and uh, had an extra one wrapped so thank you um, John for that and uh, I hope you guys enjoy this quick little clip of uh, while Chris was here and uh, again John, Chris, everyone out there that's willing to help and donate time and effort thank you guys I hope you enjoy this clip and I'll see you soon I got some pretty cool information to give you hopefully this week I'll get it out to you and you're gonna like this you won't want to miss it see you guys have a good day Okay, so this guy Chris I keep talking about that donated some of these parts and uh, the ferrofluid as well and uh, he's here. He was driving back from Florida and uh, he's kind of maybe shyish. I don't know, but there he is. He wanted to be, huh? Camera shy. He wanted to be in the background and I asked him, oh, are you sure? So, Chris has come from where? Wisconsin. He's from Wisconsin. And he is the individual who donated the anode cathode pieces and a few other things, some O rings, uh, some of the blow off valves and such. Some and of these uh, materials too, actually. So, yes, mentioned. yes, some of the materials as well. Yeah. Um, he's been a giant help. And here he is. He was able to check out the the EPG. Come come get in the footage with the EPG. People like doing that, it's fun. <laughs> so EPG! Yes. What do you think about that thing? What did you say earlier to me? Uh, about this? Yeah. Is it's, it, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's real heavy. And it's... Really? And it's what did you say? 20, 23 what is, pounds. Was it bigger or smaller than you it's, said? It's a lot bigger okay. than I thought. So he, th he thinks it was a lot bigger or smaller on TV than it is on real life. So. Well, this, this is about two foot. Yes, the sheet is. Yeah. 18 inches is supposed to be the diameter of the EPG. All right. Well... Since you're camera shy, I'll leave you alone. There he is, the man who has been really helping me out and uh, helping getting this giant mess I have here right now somewhat organized and together. So, as always, I enjoy filming individuals who come visit. And uh, no, for those of you who are like, you invite people to your house, you don't know. Come on, guys, really? Think about it. But anyway, this Russ, RWG Research. Got any last words? <laughs> there you go. Look forward to get some things working. Exactly. And uh, jo his brother John's actually one wrapping some of the coils. So the square, awesome. The square coils, right? The square yeah. coils. Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. That's what you sent him. Yes. He could have just picked them up now. All right. As always, I won't bore you.
Have a good day. See you.